Look, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the cubes. What the cubes? What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. It's all about the cubes today, just like the song said. We're talking volume, and today we're talking about what is volume. So let's look in the box and find out what we're doing today. Your objective today, today I will be able to define volume and find it by counting the unit cubes that make up the rectangular prism. Let's rewind back in time to get started though. We're going to rewind all the way back to area. And if you remember, area is how much space covers the inside of a two dimensional shape, right? So here you have the ins or so here you have a rectangle um, and it's two dimensional because it has length and width, two dimensions. When you find area, right, you're trying to find out how much space is inside this shape, right? So how much does it would it take to cover the entire inside of this two-dimensional shape? That is what's called the area. And if you remember, we measure area in square units because really what we're trying to do, really what we're covering the inside of the shape with is a square, right? You're covering the inside of a two-dimensional shape with a two-dimensional shape, which is a square. So you want to cover the entire inside with these squares, and that will help us find the area. All right, perfect, right? And so when we talk about the length, we're talking about uh, typically the longer side. So my length here would be five units, and my width right here, my other dimension, would be three units. And we know to find the area, you could individually count each square that's used to cover it, but we also think about area as being an array, right? An array is something we use to solve multiplication. So we could say the area is five groups of three, right? Just like an array would say. So our area is 15, but then again, when we're doing area, we talk about square units. So we have 15 square units because again, we covered it just like an array with squares. Now that we have rewinded to talk about two-dimensional shapes and how we cover those, which is the area, let's go back to present time and talk about three-dimensional shapes. So what would happen if we took that square and added another dimension to it? Let's take a look at this animation. As the animation is showing us, when we take a square, we make it 3D, we come up with a cube. Right, And that's where volume comes in because when we're trying to find the volume, we are trying to find the space inside a three-dimensional shape. So it makes it three-dimensional because we've added the height. So here we have three different examples of a rectangular prism. When we're trying to find the volume, we're trying to figure out, okay, how much space is inside my volume? In other words, if you had an Amazon box and you were trying to fill it with cubes, unit cubes, how many cubes could you fit inside of the box and fill it up completely? When we measured area, we measured it with square units because area is the space that covers a 2D shape. Well, when we're talking about volume, we're going to measure it with cubic units. Okay, because cubes are the 3D version of a square. So sometimes you're going to get a rectangular prism like this where there are no cubes in it. And then sometimes you're going to get a rectangular prism where they actually show you the cubes that it took to build it. So when you're trying to find the volume, you're trying to find out, okay, how many cubes can I fit inside of my rectangular prism? That's why we use cubic units. Let's meet our new friend. Okay, so here's our new friend. We want to label the different parts that we know. So here we have the height. Okay, and obviously the height is how tall the rectangular prism is. We have the length. Okay, the length is how long the rectangular prism is. And then we also have the width or the depth is another way of saying that. That's how wide our rectangular prism is. Okay, but then we, there's also another important thing we're going to be talking about a lot in this unit, and that is the area of the base. Okay, um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a second. But the area of the base is the rectangle that makes up the bottom of our rectangular prism, and that's going to be very, very important as we talk more and more about volume.
So my question is asking me, what is the volume of this rectangular prism? Okay, so today we're going to be dealing with rectangular prisms that are built out of unit cubes. Kind of like those blocks that you have in school that you can, you can build things out of. Kind of like Lego blocks. Or uh, the way I think about it, because I love Minecraft, is Minecraft. Okay, we're trying to build shapes out of cubes. So if I want to know the volume of this rectangular prism, I want to know, okay, how many cubes made up this shape? So the first thing I want to do is I want to find out what is the area of the bottom? Okay, in other words, how many cubes make up the layer on the bottom? Well, I can't see the bottom here, but here's the great thing about a rectangular prism. The bottom and the top are the exact same. So if I count the squares that make up the, on the top of this rectangular prism, that's going to be the same amount that make up the bottom. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The area of the base is 15 because the area of the top is also 15 which means there are 15 cubes that make up this layer. So in this cube, there are going to, in this layer, there's going to be 15. And in that layer, there's also going to be 15. So if I add that together, that's going to give me a volume of 30 cubic units. In other words, there are 30 unit cubes that make up this shape. And that's all volume is, trying to figure out how many cubes make up the shape or how many cubes you can fit inside of the rectangular prism. All right, let's take a look at what I just did. Let's lay out three steps for finding volume that we can use today. So if I want to find the volume of this rectangular prism, the first thing I want to do is I want to find the area of the base. In other words, what I want to do is I want to find out how many cubes make up this bottom layer. And once I figure out the area of the base is 8, now all I need to know is how many layers of 8 do I need? I see that I can fit two more layers of 8 here. So now once I do that, I just need to skip count to find out how many cubes there are. So now I've filled in all three layers of my cubes and I know there is 8 in each layer. So 8 plus 8 plus 8, I'm going to skip count. Okay, and I'm going to find out that the volume of this rectangular prism is 24 cubic units, right? I found the area of the base to find out how many was in the bottom layer. I counted how many layers I would need to fill up my entire rectangular prism. And then I just skip counted all those cubes to come up with my answer of it would take 24 cubic units to make this rectangular prism. Now let's try a we do together. Okay, so I want to know what is the volume of this, of this rectangular prism? In other words, how many unit cubes is it going to take to fill up my entire rectangular prism? Well, step number one was to find the area of the base. How many cubes do I have in the bottom of my rectangular prism? Well, you can't see it, right? But we know that the area of the base is going to be the same thing of, as the area of the top. So if the area of the top is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that means the area of the bottom is also going to be 12. So there are 12 cubes that make up the bottom of this shape. Step number two, how many layers did you have? So I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 layers, and each of them had 12 in there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to skip count 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. The volume of this, so let me write my statement, the volume is 60. Now you can't say 60 because we're talking about volume. It's got to be cubic units, okay, or units cubed. So I'm going to write down 60 cubic units. And that's how you find the volume. You just find, follow those three easy steps. Let's do a U try. Okay, look at the steps in your notes. If you haven't been taking notes, you can find the link to our guided notes on the description for this video. You can either print them out or fill them out on your Google Docs, whatever works for you. I want to know how many cubes make up this prism. In, in other words, what is the volume of this prism? If you already try this one by yourself, go ahead and push pause, solve it. And then you can check it. If you're not ready yet, that's okay. You can do it with me as an extra we do problem. Hopefully, if you're ready, you just paused it and now you're checking your answer. So my statement's going to say it takes blank cubes to make up this prism. 
then you're going to follow your three steps. The first thing you want to do is figure out, okay, what is the area of the base? Well, again, I can't see the base, but I see the area of the top is two squares right here, which means there are two squares on the bottom, so each layer is going to have two cubes in it, okay? Then I want to know how many layers I have. So here I had one, two, three, four, five, and then I just want to skip count two plus two plus two plus two plus two, and my answer is it takes 10 cubes to make up this prism. In other words, the volume of this rectangular prism is 10 cubes. So hopefully this has helped you out um, figuring out just what the volume is. The volume is the space inside of a three-dimensional shape. How many unit cubes does it take to fill up that shape? And so today we did that by doing rectangular prisms that were all made out of unit cubes. Please continue to join us as we do this playlist as we get deeper into deeper into our understanding of what volume is. As always, we really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. If you need extra help, you can check out our volume song or our other videos on this playlist. Thank you again. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, like the video. We would love to have you do that. Check out our other videos as well. Thanks again. Instruct Beats, out.